Okay, today we'll see how we can install WordPress using XAMPP server. So you have to install XAMPP application, you have to download it first of all, then you have to download WordPress software as well, then we will see how we can install by using XAMPP. Alright, so in this case, uh, first of all, you have to download XAMPP, just write in Google XAMPP, then it will be like a link for that. Just click here, XAMPP installation, and from here you have to download. Hmm? XAM for Windows, Linux and operating system. So I want to download for the Windows. Just click here. So downloading will start. All right. So just we need to wait for the downloading and then we will go for WordPress as well. So it's uh, here. Let it download. So it's downloading. All right. So next what you need to do. First of all, you have to download the software. Then you have to go to the WordPress website. Okay. What you will write? You will write WordPress.org. Alright, so when you will write wordpress.org, so from here we will get WordPress software, right? So these two softwares you have to download first of all. So here you need to click on, uh, make sure you are writing wordpress.org, not wordpress.com. Hmm? Organize wordpress.org and from here get WordPress and here it will show you, you are going to download this version. Hmm? You are going to download WordPress 6.0.3. This is the latest version you are going to download right now. Hmm? Maybe after one week, two weeks, one month, a year will be 6.0.4 as well. Hmm? So now we are downloading this version and you can also uh, remember this version as well. So now the software is all also being downloaded. So let's we have to wait for the downloading of the ZAMP and let's see uh, how it, uh, it will download. Then first we have to install ZAMP. Then we will see how we can install WordPress in it. Uh, well, now it's uh, downloaded. Okay, so what we will do, we will just open and install. So just let it open. So after its installation, then we will install WordPress also. All right. So let's go. Okay, no problem. So you need to press next. All right. And now it will tell like what is going to install. So it's going to install all these uh, applications. MySQL, FileZilla and this one all this and the most important in MySQL and PHP my admin, the most important one. Okay. Okay. Let it be select. No, don't need to do anything here. Just next and here it will tell you where it's going to install. And it's, it's going to install in C drive and in XAM folder. Okay. Next I will go language. No need to change. Keep it English. And now setting is now ready to be installed. Yes, let it be. Next and now it will install in your computer. All right. So it will take also some time. Let's see uh, how much time it will take. Okay. Installation has been done. No, just uh, do you want to start control panel now? Yes. Just click on finish and it will start also control panel. Uh, then we'll see how we can install. Uh, WordPress on it. Now here you can see it's installed and you will get that XAMPP control panel. Hmm? From here you have to start two services or two application Apache and MySQL. All right. So uh, to uh, access uh, local host in your computer. Right. So start from here and start from here. If you will not receive any error here. So you have installed successfully. All right. Now it's time to install WordPress. All right. So we have installed successfully and we have launched also control panel uh, of XAMPP server. Now we will go to WordPress. All right. So what I will do, just open this WordPress and here is downloaded. So I will just cut it from here. And now you need to go C drive and here you have XAMPP folder. So you need to go to XAMPP folder and here you have one folder which is called HD Docs. So here you need to go and here you need to create a folder for the website which you are going to create. So I'm going to create for example my first website which is let's see it's a Hamad Sayyad mm, like this. This is the name of my website. All right. Just open it uh, folder and just paste your WordPress here. Now it's pasted and extracted. So I will do here and extract it here. So it will extract in one folder. Uh, here you need to be careful. So in, in this folder, the WordPress files should be. So what I will do, I will just delete it here and also just copy these all files, all right, and control X and go back. Actually, I want to paste it here, all right. So it should be here, then you can do. You can also extract directly in this folder. Actually, WordPress files should be in this folder like this. So you can extract also directly in this folder after uh, downloading WordPress, all right. 
So now what do you need to do? You need to access the WordPress uh, localhost. Now we are going to install WordPress. But before installing WordPress, we have to create a database. Hmm? So how to access database? In the XAM folder and here in the down, you will get this control right here. So you can get also control panel from here if you couldn't found it. And if you will start your computer also, so you can just start from here, the service of the XAM. Uh, now here you can see we have Apache server and here my SQL. So what do you need to do? You have to go to my SQL and you need to click on admin. Hmm? Or once you click on admin, so it will take you to the database admin panel. Right. And or if you don't want to click over there, you can write this localhost and PHP my admin. Hmm? So you will be here. So what do you need to do here? You need to create a database. First, you have to create a database, then we will install WordPress. So what you will do, you just go to database here. And now here we have to create a database. So click on the new, hmm? new database or uh, uh, here database. You can also give the name here, right? So I will give the name. The name should be same as your first website, hmm? uh, the folder name. So my folder name is this one. If you don't remember, you can also go there and you can also copy. For example, you remember you copy the in HD docs. So I copied here. This is okay. You can do rename and uh, this one and just rename it. And then you can control C copy. Then you can come back and here you can paste also uh, to make sure you are not writing wrong. Hmm? Then from here, just create. Now the database has been created. So first step. You copied WordPress in XAMPP folder, htdocs, then you created database. Now the second step, you have to install WordPress. Hmm? So you have to install WordPress. But just before going there, you have to go and check the username and the detail of your database. Just click on this privileges. And here it will show you, you have username. So you can also add user you can add user also to give access but right now by default you have this user and hostname and privileges all your privileges you have here so we are going to use this user the same user we are going to use which is root for this but this is by default i would suggest you to go and add new user for your database okay and give it this all access but right now we can use this root also uh, and also we have all privileges and no password yet. So now next what you will do, you will write localhost and now we will access WordPress. So write localhost and slash your website name. All right. So it will open uh, your, it will take you to WordPress installation. All right. So you will write localhost and your website, the folder name which you have created. Uh, look at here. Now you are in WordPress installation process. Hmm? So here is the language. So okay, I will choose English language. And here, look, it's saying before going forward, you need to install database. You should know the database name, database username, password, or move further. We have already created. We know also. So let's go. Here is asking you database name. So we know the database name which we have given this one. Hmm? And then the username that was I showed you that is root password. No need to give any password because there was no password, but you can provide by using add. Then database host is local host because we are installing and no need to change other Then submit. If you will not get any error here, means you have done everything smoothly. All right. Then only you need to do run installation and then you will see the WordPress will install. So now here you are going to give WordPress installation information. Before we have given database information, now WordPress information. So site title, for example, Hamasaya and username, the admin you will access and password. You can give any password, easy, keep it easy password. Okay, right now I'm giving just uh, six, seven, eight. It's a weak password. You can give your own, confirm a weak password, no problem and give any email address also so that if you will forget you can also give this one hmm? for example i have there like this all right so now next go click here and install wordpress that's it now you will see wordpress will install all right 
So this is stalling and that's the way to install WordPress via ZAMP. And this one is the professional way and uh, because it will not uh, give uh, okay. Okay, WordPress has been installed. Thank you and enjoy. So login. So it will take go to login. Now this address you have to remember hmm? while you are going to log in. This, this is the address localhost uh, the website name the folder name which you have created all right and then wp login wp login you have to write which is called wordpress login so here i will give the same address which i have given user information one two three four five six seven eight and remember me and just log in so now you have logged in successfully in wordpress hmm? after installation maybe you, you uh, here it will show you the dashboard of the wordpress uh, here you will see then more this is a version of the wordpress and first of all go here and go to edit profile all right go to edit profile and here change the information which you have provided you can change the new password set new password because that was the easiest password and you can change also email address and information as well all right and update profile so this is the most important thing you have to do or you go to uh, user here and add new user to give to access then he can also log in and he can work on the same uh, profile as well okay so this is the first thing you have to do okay so this you have installed word uh, one uh, website all right via using xamp but if you want to work on multiple websites hmm, maybe you have three clients and you want to work on localhost three websites you want to create so then what you will do you have to repeat the same procedure hmm? how then you will go to hdocs folder in xamp okay go to here hdocs folder this is xamp folder c drive xamp and hdocs and here create another website folder hmm? so just create a new and this is for example this is my second website or second client all right so second website hmm? So just remember the name for the database right click and copy all right then double click and here you need to paste that one so what i will do and this time i will extract my file to this folder so i okay this time i will extract into save my folder so right click and extract files and from here you need to choose the folder which you have created so it was in c drive in xamp and here you will go to hdocs all right you have to find hdocs folder so where is that one yeah this one hdocs folder and here you have created second website so this method you can also choose so now it will be extracted so you want to check go here and zamp and here you will see hdocs and here you have second website and here is the wordpress again we have this folder just make sure you have all files outside so Control x and go back and the files should be here all right like this so direct so i will delete this one hmm? So now if you want to access you have to create database for that same procedure rename and i will just copy for the safe side all right then you can go to control and if it's it's already launched if not just go to control and again you will go to my sql and click on admin so it will take you to the admin here hmm? uh, or you can type localhost php my admin in the browser then go to database and here before we have this database has been created this time i will write the second database click here so second website all right this uh, database i want to create just click on create all right so this has been created for my second website privileges same you have user you can use this user or let me add another user for that you can also use this one if you want to add just go here and you have to write the username okay for example uh, I want to use name uh, my uh, for example name all right and here password you can also mention password like simple I will mention uh, password all right and here don't forget to check all global privileges hmm? check all these privileges and then you need to click on go here we have go. okay let's see what uh, host name you have to choose also local host don't forget to mention this okay so username you have this one localhost and uh, the password uh, uh, let me check again it's 7128 okay you can generate also password here so i will just check all from here and then click go now you will see uh, retype password okay i forget to retype okay i will retype no issue 
and then click go so you can create your own users as well you have added a new user all right now it's time to install second wordpress okay this time we will write uh, localhost all right and slash your second website all right so i will just write the second website control v and enter so same procedure we are repeating and here it will load our uh, installation of wordpress okay okay then go again here so it will ask you database information and now database for the second website and username i will add which i have added which is like this and password i have given over there so give that password over here right and databases and local and just click on submit done all right then run installation and just here so this is my second website you can write this is my second website all right and username you can just type admin and here password you can save again you can change also no problem confirm your password and email address choose this email address and just install uh, that's how uh, you can install multiple website on a local host all right it's the easiest way to install multiple website by using zam server now you will see it's installed you can log in here and here you will type the same okay i would not suggest to keep the same uh, username and password just change them as well now this is your second website of wordpress okay before we have this one all right this one and this one you can see it's uh, hamasai localhost hamasai wp admin and this one is localhost second website wp admin okay so in this way you can you can create multiple websites hmm, by using zam and if you are working in uh, with the many clients at the same time just go with it and create multiple website